Since I really started to build credibility in the local business niche, I get this question a lot from local business owners, which is how do you run ads for a local business? What is the best way for me to get more clients and customers? And here's a couple of ways that I've been able to effectively use to scale local businesses to you know, multiple five figures a month. Number one is Google ads. When you're able to run good search engine ads on Google for local phone calls, map directions, sending traffic to your Google My Business that may have reviews, social proof, whatever the case may be, that's a very good asset to have. Second thing is map citations. If you do not know what those are, if you have a Google business profile right now and it's not getting a lot of views month after month after month, even though you're getting more reviews, start doing Google map citations. You can get these done on Fiverr. You can outsource these. They're very cheap. It allows you to basically duplicate your business hundreds of times in a 10 to 15 mile radius by just simply hitting simple keywords that you know your business ranks for. Number three is gonna be email marketing, okay? Um, you can do data scrapping with local customers from other restaurants or other local businesses, whatever niche you're in, and you can basically get emails from like email directories. You can just cold email people. Yes, that is seen to be as illegal. I get that, but there's companies who do it and it is actually very effective um, if you don't have a ton of money to spend on ads and you're just looking to do very quick email blasts and, and do data scraps. That is a very simple way for you to do so. I'm not encouraging or promoting it. I'm just simply saying that that is a way that I've seen you know, some of my clients do you know, some of their growth other than the stuff that I've done. Number four is gonna be just content, like posting local content. And this is the only way that I would recommend people boosting posts. Boosting posts on Facebook and Instagram it's only been effective for local business because of the way that you can expand the dollar in such a low mile radius, um, 10 to 15 miles. And that's been very, very effective. Number five, the final one is direct mail. Okay, other than ads, other than Google ads, Facebook ads, you know, driving traffic to your website, building up your Facebook pixel, direct mail is a very effective way to sell high tickets. So painting contractors, plumbers, electricians, um, landscapers, direct mail is very effective. Um, even though it is a little pricey for some businesses that are just starting out, you know, 10,000 letters is probably around $3,500 to $4,000. If you can't afford that straight up, I mean, you can just go the advertising route, but it's, it's a very, very good service for high ticket business owners. Um, and then just as a bonus one is just like, Having a lead gen process where, you know, you talk about your services, you're able to showcase social proof, you have a certain offer and you build that out on like a ClickFunnels landing page and you're able to basically send traffic there from those boost posts or Facebook ads or Google ads in general. If you don't want to send them right to a call, you could send them to a landing page where they can put their info in and then you can have your sales team or employees, whatever the case may be, reach out to them and start booking appointments for in-person you know, um, evaluations and, and, and consults. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you are a local business, you need help scaling your business this year, reach out to me, DM me the word local, and you know I'll reach out to you. We'll have a quick chat and see if we're a good fit. But that's where I started. That's my nickname when I first started was the local business accelerator. So if you need help with your local business, hit me up. I'd be glad to help and let's scale you this year. Thanks.